journey of the gong bath. And I'd like you to imagine it as a journey and that you're flying a plane. So you want to take off and then you want to take people across and then you want to bring them back down into a smooth landing. It's an ascension and a descension, the way that you're playing. I really believe in continuity. I'm really keen on keeping people in that very lovely journey in meditation. So when you start, we talked about pulsing the sweet spot. You want to really begin with that or with your E1. And just bear in mind that the the lower notes are a lot more dark and brooding for people. And then the higher notes are a lot more light and singy. They're going to feel a, a deconstruct and a reconstruct when you play all different parts of the gong. Just remembering that going up, across and coming down is really, really important. When you really want to move into your builds, I highly recommend staying around the middle of the gong because they'll actually start to merge with the top and the bottom of the gong. And then you'll start to get some lovely crescendos. Just make sure you're in control of this by muffling the gong a little bit, by holding the mallet against it and stabilising it. But ultimately, you really want to just move people through time and space. That will in turn create a beautiful transformation for them. And that's what we call the journey.